Good morning, I'm Damon. I'm Ken. And we're the Beachside Bros. We're getting to the holiday season. We're right before Thanksgiving. You got a lot of people coming in town. You need to feed the family quick. So that's what we're doing today is we're gonna show you how to feed the family quick. Ken, what do we got today? Breakfast biscuits, bud. All right. All right, like Damon said, we're trying to get you out and ready to go early and easy. So one of the best things you can actually do with that and get everyone fed quickly, especially during the holiday season, breakfast biscuits. So we're gonna do a couple, we're doing sausage, uh, and then we're also doing a, a spicy bacon. And I'm gonna do up the spicy bacon part for you right now. So uh, what we've got is a couple of pieces. We got four pieces of center cut bacon. I'm gonna slice those up just in half. Get that knife out of the way so no one gets hurt. And then we're just gonna spread them out on a foil lined sheet pan. We're not, we're not doing the weave like we did in the uh, meatloaf episode. So we're just, we're just cooking up some uh, center cut bacon today if I can get it apart. And then the next thing we're gonna do is real simple. We're just gonna take some of our uh, free honey that got shipped to me by accident from Amazon. Spread that honey across here. You can be, and this is spiced pepper honey. So we're gonna give it a little bit of kick. And you can add as little or uh, as much as you want. And then from there, we're just gonna hit it with not all of the pepper, also from our meatloaf episode. There'll be a link uh, in the uh, description or in the upper right co hand corner, I think it is. So we're gonna get this pepper on here, each one of these guys. Again, as little or as much as you need. And the other thing we're gonna do to speed all this up is we're using, we're not making our biscuits today. We're using frozen biscuits, you can see, hard as a rock. We're gonna get four of those guys on a non-grease sheet pan, 350 degrees, 20 minutes, you got bacon, you got uh, biscuits, and you're not out a whole bunch of time or effort. No one wants to make biscuits first thing in the morning. So that's what we're doing. Damon's up next. He's gonna be getting our sausage ready. Again, this is a quick and easy breakfast for feeding a bunch of people. All right, guys, Ken has got the bacon and the biscuits going upstairs and we're gonna to get to the good stuff right now. But first, we're gonna talk about the Jags. We've got the 49ers in town. Good football weekend, it's beautiful weather. Go Jags, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed we actually do something today. So getting to the food, my personal favorite. We're gonna throw these bad boys on. It is the Vermont maple sausage. I only eat maple sausage. I don't eat regular sausage at all. It has to be the maple stuff, just the sweetness. You get a little crisp on these things, just delicious. So we're gonna throw these on there. And also on the grill, we're gonna throw, uh, throw these jalapenos on, and we're gonna throw these in the cast iron. So uh, let's get to work, let's make this quick. We got the grill uh, probably about up to around 400. The cast iron's been here for about 20, 30 minutes, seasoning and getting ready to go. Got a little sizzle. We. Uh, had a little uh, propane issue, so uh, it's not as hot as we wanted, but it's still good. There we go, there's that sizzle we want. You wanna cook the pork sausage uh, up to about 160. Again, we're not gonna be testing it, but uh, you, can, you can eyeball it. You can tell, uh, you can get your personal preference how crispy you want it. And we're just gonna close this back down. Oh, actually, don't wanna forget the jalapenos. Put these on the grill. Get a nice little char on these bad boys. And that's it. I mean, pretty easy. We're going to do this for uh, the next few minutes and uh, we'll come right back at you. So we're cooking everything outside today. It's a great day anyway. So what I've got here is I'm going to do the eggs. I'm going to go ahead and melt some butter in here in this pan. You can see it's good and hot. And then from there, I'm going to cook us up uh, some eggs. So wrong bowl. That's the garbage bowl. Good catch by me. So we've got that. We're gonna chop that egg up, stir him up. I've got some others already in here beaten. Make sure that make sure that yolk is good and I don't want that thing coming out one big piece. 
stir him up. We're going to add a little bit of pepper, uh, a little bit of pepper in the pinch bowls that we now have. <laughs> so that seven tablespoons of pepper uh, don't show up in our eggs. Uh, a little bit of salt and we're off and run. You could also add some Tabasco in here if you wanted to, some Franks, uh, whatever your hot sauce of choice is. So we're stirring up here. Don't be shy about the butter. We're good and hot. And I'm using, I'm actually using a measuring cup. I like this Pyrex measuring cup. And we're going to keep these guys. There's no, in these eggs, we didn't do any um, baking powder or cream of tartar or anything like that to get them puffed up. It's a breakfast sandwich, so we want to go ahead and keep these eggs a little thin. You can kind of see the butter uh, that's on the edge. I'm going to push these sides down and we're going to let this guy go. We've got a couple of them. I made a bunch of eggs there, so we've got a couple to do. And always a good idea either to have a wooden spoon or your spatula right here beside you. And you just kind of roll that guy around and keep pushing him over. If you wanted to do some spinach in here, you certainly could. Uh, some tomatoes, things like that. Uh, definitely want to do that. And you can see we're firming up nice. And again, treat your grill, it's, it's an outdoor oven, right? It's not, it, it just doesn't have to be for burgers, dogs, Cornish game hens. Link in the uh, top here. So, let's get this guy going. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold him over. Once this firms up a little more, you can see. And I'm using a good nonstick pan, by the way. Um, get this guy going. But you could certainly add some spinach, some tomatoes uh, in here as well. But we're keeping it kind of simple today. So just about ready to fold this guy over. And the butter, between the nonstick pan and the butter, this guy's not gonna, he's gonna brown up nice. And you're not gonna have any trouble folding him over, which is a good thing. I'll get him back here on the main heat. Get out of here, bug. We got some pepper in there, which is nice. Even some cheese in here right now would be good. But we're gonna melt some cheese over our sausage and bacon. We are folding up nice, firming up. Let's get this guy in here. Woohoo! Look at that. Let him cook there, and then I'm gonna do a tri fold, and we're gonna be done. I'm gonna cook up about four more of these guys, three more, maybe, and maybe four. Look at that, and he's ready for our biscuit. So we'll brown him up. We'll be back in just a few minutes. See you in a few. All right, so we have got all our fixings ready to go for our biscuits. Uh, we've got uh, six or seven fresh biscuits here uh, that we cooked up. Uh, we've got our, our cheeses. We've got smoked Gouda. Uh, we've got American, which is great because it melts super nice. Uh, we've got just regular cheddar. This is sharp cheddar if you need it. We've got our, um, our, our eggs tri-folded, which are super easy. Make sure you use plenty of butter with that, nice hot pan. Uh, this is our uh, pepper, uh, pepper honey uh, bacon. We've got our jalapenos that are done here. And then lastly, we have our um, Vermont. Last but not least, the Vermont maple right. sausage. Vermont maple sausage. So yeah. let's get into it. So I've got our biscuit. I'm going to half it. And oh, shoot, I probably should have grabbed another knife. But I've got this yeah. pre-sliced cranberry sauce. Make sure it doesn't rip. Yeah, it's, it's, ripping. it's around Thanksgiving here, so we got the, the cranberry going. Personally, not crazy about it, but uh, it does add a nice little uh, little layer of, uh, of uh, flavor to you got, the uh, yeah, breakfast sandwich. You got all this salt and pepper yeah. and, it and cheese. It. it cuts it. It gives yeah. it a little sour, a little acid. It's mm. going to be good. So a couple of these cheese guys are, or these eggs are kind of mondo, but who's going to complain about that, right? Too much egg, too much bacon. Mm. Words, not me. Ne words never spoken. <laughs> yeah, not me. Uh, I'm going to grab this with my hand. Get, not a restaurant. <laughs> Okay, let's get this guy on here. These guys are still nice and hot. Mm. Uh, I'm going to do a couple slices of our bacon. Nice and crispy. Oh, I'm starving. Yeah. I haven't eaten anything today. This looks ridiculous. And again, this is thick cut, uh, center cut bacon. So mm. it's nice and thick. A little bit of jalapenos and you can't see it. So I'll bring it back up so you can take a look. 
Now you don't want it to go too crazy with these. These are actually I tried them. They're a little. These are a little got some got some kick to them. Mm -hmm. So here's our biscuit. Let's put our little topper on here. And you know, I think I, I wasn't going to cut it, but I think I'm going to because that looks like a mouthful. And yeah, I it's... start talking my mouthful and. That looks pretty awesome. <laughs> that looks pretty awesome. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> when we're cleaning your house, you can have the first bite. How about that? Still haven't cooked at my house. <laughs> uh, pool is uh, what state of ready? Not ready. Backyard, not ready. Sorry. House destroyed. <laughs> Gary, you see? Uh, that looks good. Get a big mouthful. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, you've got the hot biscuit, everything else is piping hot. It is just, it's awesome. Mm. Am I allowed to, to make one? Go ahead, make one. Oh, perfect. The pepper, bacon, and the jalapenos just gives mm -hmm. it a nice little punch. And that cranberry sauce cools it right down. So, again, super easy. We did basically all of this in about 30 minutes. Mm. Um, really easy to do. Do it on your outdoor grill. You're going to, you, paper plates. We're throwing those away. Um, easy cleanup. Family's going to be happy. You can cook it quick, get them out the door quick, because nobody wants to spend a ton of time with their family during the holidays. Right. Uh, at least I don't. Like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.